Hey everyone, I sat down this week all excited to do some great game dev. I made a coffee, fired up Unity, and ran into a bit of an issue. Two thousand years later. Uh, all my assets that I'd been creating in Blender had just been kind of eaten by Unity. They had a bit of a discrepancy. And rather than look for a workaround or you know, fix the problem, I did the next logical thing, which was just start again in Unreal Engine. Three days later. So was this a good idea? Change everything, start again? Like, no, it really wasn't, but it was interesting. There's a lot of time wasted just setting up a new project, getting headset to work. So this is footage of it running on the actual Oculus standalone, which I had to, you know, compile it for the Oculus. Compiling it's pretty time consuming, it just takes ages, but then it looks pretty good and it's good to know that it actually runs. It's been a few days, I actually had to walk away from it for a bit, I was a bit frustrated. Uh, and then I kind of realised that all the things that I had in the game previously were all placeholders anyway, they were all just, you know, all the models and such, I didn't spend any time on it, like, Old Mate Rockman here wasn't exactly a masterpiece of sculpting, so I don't really care. I did, um, I came back and built the slug. So the slug, the slug, is instead of the rock man. Yeah, it slowly kind of lurps forward. I'm going to have to make that a bit quicker because that's painful. I'm pretty happy with that as a bad guy. Like, that's creepy. And when masses and them come forward, well, I'm going to space those out a bit. Let's do that now, actually. Ow. Ow. Where's my spawn? Caught my hair. <laughs> Still seems too close. Gonna have to get these slugs going a bit quicker. This is a slug that I just placed in the map. So they should start spawning out there and they'll be 10 seconds apart. The idea with the slug is it's a pretty primitive sort of model. So hopefully I can have absolutely squillions of them in the map. No, they're still too close together. They're gonna come sliming up out of the ground or something. They're not just gonna magically appear. Oh, I'm a slug man! I just love that motion. So it's not quite right. I'm gonna fix the arc, well, the, the curve on that. It's pretty cool. It's way too slow though. They're gonna have to move a bit quicker than that to be scary. Oh, it's creepy. <laughs> quite like that actually, with them all joined up. Oh wow! I didn't know I could do that. Oh, right. I was trying to set these guys up to be full AI, which I probably still can. But they're just so simple, bad guy, that I didn't think there was much point. And they're floating. I didn't even know that till I came down here. Wow. Am I in the mist, or is that just... Oh, that's cool. It's like a big caterpillar thing. That's creepy. I'd like to actually have them come up the tower. The tower's floating as well. <laughs> um, and then when they get up the tower, you can you know, whack them off with swords or you know, melee weapons. Have a bit of fun with that and watch them fall off the tower and plop down. I think these go really well on fire as well. You know, like a, a contagion sort of fire. So next step, I want to build some cooler bad guys. So we've got our, our main pawns, the slugs that are just bleh, creeping forward. Next I want to have some kind of mini bosses, micro bosses, uh, a flying, I want, to, I want to be attacked, so I want something's got to come at us or we've got to defend ourselves in some way, uh, we'll see where we go from there. Um, yeah, like and subscribe, like, like, like and subscribe.